Hi besties, welcome back to another vlog. I had the most incredible morning. Bailey on a little walk, we walked all the way to Starbucks, which typically would be like a 20 minute walk, but he's so slow because he's a tiny dog. So it took us half an hour. We were walking for about an hour total. It was so fun. I actually feel just so amazing. And I've talked about this a few times, but I just want to start walking and being outside more, especially in the morning. I run a few times. A week outside so that's fun but like walking is just completely different and i actually wanted to take django but i went to go find him and my parents are like oh some ladies bringing him home i'm like what he's like oh i left the gate open last night and i guess he got out and he was found like running across some main roads and some lady grabbed him <laughs> and was bringing him home and then she brought him to the wrong house and then my parents had to go get him and he's out with them right now so it would have been a lot quicker with him but i'm really happy that i took bailey he was so happy and we met the sweetest girl at Starbucks, it was like an older lady and she came up and I guess she had two small dogs. She didn't have the dogs with her, but she had a bunch of treats in her pocket and just stayed with Bailey outside while I ran in and grabbed my Starbucks. So cute. She was so sweet and she was like, oh my God, this made my day. Like have a great, she was just very cute and i'm obsessed with her like i hope i see her someday. But I ordered the egg white and spinach wrap. It is my favorite like breakfast from Starbucks. It was so good. And then I really wanted the shaken oat espresso, the brown sugar one, but they're still out of the brown sugar. So I got a grande shaken espresso blonde roast, add oat milk, four pumps of the classic syrup, and light cinnamon powder. I think next time I would maybe do two or three pumps of the classic syrup because this is pretty sweet, but it's still really good. That was just amazing. I like ate my food on our walk home oh my god kinsey kitty is going crazy i brought some toys upstairs for her i don't know why i didn't do this before because she just keeps playing in the sun rays and it's really cute you crazy girl i don't think i ever talked about this in a vlog but i came home one day and she was licking her back leg and then i looked at it and she had this huge chunk out of her leg i can show you guys actually because she's laying in a good spot it's on that leg it's literally right there and she was limping she couldn't walk properly and i could tell she was in a lot of pain so i took her to the vet i think this was like a week and a half ago and she said it looks like a bite mark from another cat or like a scratch or something she said it's hard to tell without sedating her and getting a closer look because she was in a lot of pain so she couldn't really touch it and maneuver around it so she just gave her you're so cute so she just gave her a pain med shot that lasts 24 hours and then an antibiotic shot that lasts for two weeks. So it's almost completely healed. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that I posted stories of her in the car and she's so vocal. We just talk and meow back at each other. So yeah, update on her. It's almost healed and she's doing really good. I'm just in the best mood right now. I just want to thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. You guys know, or if you don't, you do now. Anna Luisa is my favorite jewelry brand to shop from and I'm actually an ambassador for them so I pick out a few pieces every single month to share with you guys what I'm loving so you can always use my discount code at Taylor Kruger 10 for 10% off and you can shop from the link in my description box if you ever forget the code it's always in the description box of all of my videos so it's super easy to find they are running a Mother's Day sale starting April 12th so it's live right now where you can get 15% off of all their products which is such an amazing deal I don't know about you guys but my mom is obsessed with jewelry this sale is perfect to show your mom a loved one or yourself how appreciated they are also the last day to guarantee that your package arrives in time for mother's day is to order on may 5th for the u.s and may 3rd for international i love gifting jewelry because it's really personal and you get to really customize the gift based on their style and favorites i just find it so much more special than any other gift my favorite thing about anna luisa is how inclusive 
exclusive they are. They have pieces starting at $39, ranging to higher-ended pieces. They actually completely eliminate the luxury markup without sacrificing the quality, which is so awesome. So they really do have something for everyone, depending on what your budget is. They also have hundreds of different styles in every single category, so you can get really specific with your gifts. Ana Luisa is also a sustainable brand, which is so important, and I always like to outline that. 100% of their carbon emissions related to their product life cycle are offset. They source all of their materials from recycled gold, and they also make all their pieces in limited batches to ensure the highest production standards while eliminating excessive waste. So yeah, you can shop from the link in my description box, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up this month. So I got two sets of earrings i've been so obsessed with earrings lately and i can't stop getting them so i actually got two new piercings so i'm just trying to stock up for when i get to switch them out but i guess i'll take the first pair out right now these are called the cassie earrings they are so beautiful they're basically a hook earring as you guys can see there's no like back to it it kind of just slips through your ear which is really sleek and i haven't really seen any earrings like this so i was drawn to it right away and i thought it was so cute and i also have this really pretty diamond on the end as you can see it's in my ear on this side and i just think it looks so beautiful and it's just really different compared to a regular stud earring i just really like to switch it up so i think it looks really nice paired with my other in louisa jewelry i just have some huggies in and then some really cute like chunky rectangle earrings and then i also picked up a pair of huggy earrings these are called the ashley earrings i have these huggies in three different styles that's how much i love them as you can see i have them in my second haul right now this is just the standard pair but i also have the suzanne which have diamonds on them and then i picked up the ashley which have little tiny pearls on them look how beautiful these are so i love wearing these with my other like dangling pearl earrings from in louisa and then also with my pearl necklace they just complement each other so nicely and i just love when everything matches like that i typically put these in my second hole but you can also put them in your first or third like even if i just paired all of the huggies in the different styles in one ear that would be so cute so yeah if you want to shop any of these earrings you can click the link in my description box to get 15 percent off for their mother's day sale thank you so much and louisa for sponsoring this video i love you guys so much you're so good to me and let's get back into the vlog mm, so good the to-do list today i have workout but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cross it off because I technically did. I went on an hour-long walk. I need to read and manifest, but I'm going to do that before bed tonight. I need to get my summer tires put on. I need to get an oil change. I need to clean my car because the inside is disgusting and I need to get a car wash. But I can't do that until after I get my tires changed over because the tires are in the back seat of my car i need to film some clips for a video so i can get it uploaded for monday it's a pretty light day just full of like little errands i have to do it turns out i actually can't get my tires switched over today because they're fully booked and then they're not open sundays so that kind of affects the rest of my plans with my car because i wanted to clean the inside but i should definitely wait until the tires are gone and i don't think i can get an oil change while all of my tires are in the back like i don't want to have to take them out so i might just have to do that all next week but that's okay i want to share a package with you guys so i ordered these on browns two days ago and they arrived yesterday it literally took a day to get here and i have been staring at these for so long and i finally just decided to bite the bullet and buy them they are browns the kate wishbone the wishbone collection by kate or something like that they look so much like the chanel sandals with all of the texture and pattern and everything especially with these details as well but i actually ordered these and they six and a half and i should have got a six i mean i definitely should have just like tried them on but everything is closed right now so i can't so i'm just gonna try them on again to show you guys what they look like on but they also came in a mo the most beautiful cream color like cream and brown but i just need to wait until the malls open up again so i can get a different pair i mean i guess i could return it online but i did it with afterpay 
So I don't know how that works. So if you guys have ever returned something through Afterpay, let me know. They fit fine with socks on, but I know realistically, I'm not going to be wearing socks all the time. So I just wanna see what the size six is like compared to these. Or maybe I can just order a six online and then return what pair doesn't fit me. I mean, they fit, but I just personally think the size six would fit me better. So here's what they look like. <gasps> look how cute they are. They're definitely not for everyone. My brother made fun of them. He said it looks like dad sandals, but that is the point. They're so, 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 so freaking cute. I just love the like cushion texture on it. I just can't get over how much they look like Chanel sandals. So here's what they look like without any socks on. As you guys can see, there's quite a bit of room there's like a finger room back here and I also have to have this really tight and then there's so much extra velcro here so I definitely need to get the size six because I feel like my foot should be back like this but then there's so much room I don't know I mean they do fit and I could make them work but you guys can see like I just have a bunch of room back here and I know the six would fit me better. So I'm gonna have to wait. I just don't like how much extra Velcro there is. It really, really bugs me. I pushed my foot all the way to the back, like where, where my foot should be. There's so much room, like right above my toe. So they're definitely too big and I need to get the six. I don't know if I can return them online because I did after pay, but I got a return slip and everything. So I should be able to, but I just don't know how an exchange would work. So I'd rather just wait. And then I guess they can order them for me in store. But I just wanted to show them in the vlog because I've already shared them on my Instagram. And I know you guys will really like them if you're looking for a really cute, chunky sandal. And they're really good quality too. So I'm very excited about these. And I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to get them. But yeah, I would definitely say they run a little bit big. So I would size down to your smallest size. Hopefully we don't stay locked down for that long. So I can go and exchange them. Or if I can do it online with Afterpay, let me know. Also guys, I have one more thing to share with you in terms of products. So I found this brand called Montague on Instagram. Share these with you guys because I know you're absolutely gonna love the styles. They have so many different really trendy, cute styles if you don't like these. But if you guys remember these orange sunglasses, that I have that I wear all the time. Everybody is obsessed with this style and honestly, they're really hard to find. I've tried to find these on a bunch of different websites and I can't find any like them that aren't like $200. So I picked up three pairs all in different colors. So the first one are these amazing red ones. I thought they were going to be orange, but compared to my orange ones, they're a lot more red. The style is a little bit different. I actually like the fit of these better. Um, I find they sit on my nose better and a lot smaller than these. These are very wide. So I actually ordered two pairs of these. So I'm going to be get doing a giveaway with these over on my Instagram because I know you guys love these sunglasses and they're really hard to find. So make sure you're following my Instagram because I'm going to do a giveaway very soon. Watch out for that. And then I also got a black pair. So cute, right? I also do have a code for you guys. I'll have it on the screen. I believe it will get you 10% off. I also picked up a yellow. I think the yellow is going to be really cute for summer. So I'm very, very excited about all these and I'll have them all linked down below. Um, like I said, they have a bunch of different styles. So I'll just have their website in general linked down below. I need to get some clips for my YouTube video that's going live Monday. So I think I'm going to do that now and then I'll update you guys when I'm doing something interesting. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. It is, what time is it? 9.27. 
Just made my coffee. I haven't had a hot coffee in a really long time. And I frothed my milk to go on top. Mm. I didn't vlog too much yesterday just because there is literally nothing to do. Like, we're in lockdown again. So, um, Jay and I ended up going to Starburger. Mm. I got little clips of us going, but I basically just got a Starburger with bacon and cheese and then everything on it but hot peppers and it was so freaking good i got some fries i don't know why i was just really really craving a burger so we went and got one and then after that we pretty much just went to his house and had a saturday we were just laying in bed all day watching netflix and stuff so it was very much needed and I'm back today, but again, I don't know how much there really will be to do because I have to film a separate video today. I do need to get another plant because the one that I had up there actually died. I don't know what I did to it. I've had it for so long too. Like I've had it for probably two years and it just randomly started dying and I, I'm not like educated enough to know what to do when a plant starts dying like realistically i probably should have looked it up but i've only had like two two plants die on me so yeah, i need to get another plant for there but i don't even know if vandermeer is open oh they are open and they close at six they open at eight and it says they're open for in-store shopping. So actually, maybe I should do that after I get my after I drink my coffee to get it out of the way. It is the most perfect rainy, cold Sunday. A rainy day is perfect for me on Sunday because Sundays are my favorite day. And then I'm usually just inside all day on Sunday, resetting and relaxing. Yeah, I'll definitely go after. And then I also have a new coat that I want to show you guys. But I will show you when I'm just about to leave. As of right now, I'm just going to sit here, drink my coffee, maybe answer some comments. I already have my video on Monday ready for upload. I grinded all day yesterday and I got that done. So very, very happy about that. Hi, can I please have a large iced coffee made with milk? And then two bagel belts on an everything bagel. That's everything. All right, I'm back. I have my plant, but I just want to show you guys the jacket that I was talking about earlier. It's actually water resistant, so it's perfect for these April showers. The only thing is it doesn't have a hood, which... It's kind of inconvenient, but I don't really mind. I think I just need to get an umbrella because my hair is soaking wet. I definitely should have wore a hat. I should have known better. Joe says I look like a loony because it's kind of like a gold Canadian dollar. I think it's really cute. It comes in a bunch of colors too, and this is the size one. So they come in one, two, three, and this is like a size small. I'm 5'3 for reference, but it's so cute. It basically just like buttons up, and then there's two huge pockets on the side. Um, they don't have buttons or anything, but it's fine. And then it has the drawstrings at the bottom. The plant that I got is a pothos. I actually don't own a pothos. Marble Queen pothos, 8 inch. And it needs medium to low light, which is awesome because it's going to go right in the corner. The only thing is, looking at it now, it is definitely not going to fit the hanging pot I have, which really sucks. That kind of ruins my plans and I don't know what to do now. Like this is the pot. I believe it's a six inch pot. Yeah, there's literally no way this is going to fit. Well, I'm gonna have to get an eight inch pot off of Amazon or something. And then I'll just put this one on my dresser for now. realize how big that one is until you hang it up but yeah i think i'm just going to for now put this one here and i'm gonna have to get a pot for it like i said but it works all right guys i think that's gonna be the end of this little weekend in my life vlog just because i need to get started on the other video that I'm filming today. Also, don't forget to click the link in my description box to shop Anna Luisa's 15% off sale for Mother's Day. Don't forget to give me a like, leave me a comment because I love talking with you guys and it helps boost my videos out into the algorithm. I love you guys and I'll see you in a few days.
拜。